it's it's a quite complicated endocrine disorder um, and endocrine because it's located in the hypothalamic uh, pituitary region uh, both of which are involved in um, in controlling all the uh, you could say the superior hormones that guide all our endocrine organs and hormone productions uh, around the whole body so it's a small area of of the brain and under the brain but with huge consequences if it doesn't function really uh, starting in childhood of growth, for instance, and every metabolic reactions in the body are also controlled from, from this command center, you could basically call the hypothalamic uh, pituitary region. So um, with that in mind, it's not surprising that you have numerous symptoms and signs when this region is being damaged. And it can depend on um, the cause, why it's been damaged. Uh, and that can be different in different age groups. In the adult acquired population, that are those that uh, we are dealing with in my department, it's usually a, a tumor in the pituitary could be a craniopharyngioma, which is not a pituitary tumor, but it's within the pituitary with just different cells. Uh, or it could be, in childhood, it could also be a craniopharyngioma. Um, but it can also be other tumors um, nearby in the brain uh, that have been, for instance, treated by irradiation in childhood or in adulthood that can cause irradiation damage to the hypothalamic area. It could be from trauma, it could be from um, uh, in inflammatory processes as part of a more generalized um, uh, inflammatory disease in the body that can also be located in that particular area. But the result is, if it's only the pituitary that's involved, then you only get, uh, you could say, a deficiency usually in the uh, hormone production from the pituitary. But if the hypoth hypothalamus is affected, then you have the same, basically, that you lack a lot of hormones in the body. But on top of that, in the hypothalamus, you have a lot of centers that regulate temperature, that regulates thirst, regulating sleep, regulating satiety, and regulating um, food intake and weight balance and uh, a lot of other issues that are not related to the hormones directly, but is governed by neurotransmitters uh, in, the, in the hypothalamic area. So therefore, if both areas are affected, you really have a very big risk of numerous, quite difficult uh, situations, uh, both to diagnose and certainly to treat, because it's not just replacing a hormone. You are, and for instance, now when we're talking about hypothalamic obesity, uh, that means that areas in the hypothalamus that have to do with satiety, and food intake and weight management has been that these areas have been destroyed or at least um, affected and uh, that means from that time on when when the uh, when it's been damaged somehow by these different a lot of different mechanisms it means that person usually does not feel having eaten at all, doesn't feel any satiety, which means that having had a big meal will result in the person immediately asking for the next meal because, I mean, there's no feeling of fullness. And that is, of course, a very, um, a very devastating situation because it means that these people eat uncontrollably 
And now I'm not talking about uncontrollably from a psychological aspect, because this is really like missing a hormone. In this case, you miss some neurotransmitters that are not there. So that you don't, you simply don't get the feeling of fullness because something is, is missing in, in, in the reaction. And for that reason, it's different from other obese people, you can say, who can also eat uncontrollably, but that's mainly for psychological reasons starting it. But here it's a, it's a lack of a, you could say, of, of, of a stop mechanism that makes you eat uncontrollably. So for these patients, it's much, much more difficult to follow a diet because they always feel hungry 24 hours a day. They never have the feeling of fullness. So that's why it's so complicated. And on top of that, you have the hormone um, deficiencies that are also complicated in this respect.